Howdy. It's windy. Ionic winds. There are positively charged pillars and negatively charged pillars in our atmosphere called weather systems. And they drive the winds. And all the clouds are plasma. We are watching the radar picture and we have once again this channeling here from the surface conductivity anomaly which starts somewhere around here at the Kursk magnetic anomaly and it goes somewhat like that. That's the positive charged region. And there is a negative charged region here and up here in Oulu. They are almost touching each other there in Oulu. Oulu is up here. I'll show you Oulu. Where often happen very heavy thunderstorms. But I wanted to talk about something. Here it's already like I have been watching this many 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 times and maybe I made even videos about there is this border here and maybe later this day today we can see more of action going on along this border yeah there's in the middle of Poland there is not really a border between there or is there Simplified Tectonic Map of Europe, TSC, Trans-European Structure Zone. There is a border between there, according to this map. Archean Early Paleozoic. Late Paleozoic, and the yellow is Mesozoic. <laughs> there is very many interesting things visible in this map. Plasma rocks are somewhere here at the border. No, I a little bit missed. At the border of that, which is very interesting. But. We will have to see how this develops. No clouds over here. No clouds. Nothing. Wherever you look, blue sky. Yeah, and one thing is still interesting to like here it's not really well visible because we run out of space but the connection with it it makes here from the equator let's put it on there is a connection going on into the alps I've been talking about this since months and since it's reaching the Alps it's very obvious it's reaching much more north and I think the Kursk magnetic anomaly which is in this region keeps the clouds away from here and through the weakening magnetic field of earth the force these spinning in the way they spin might be even more strong than it has been in the past. For those who don't know, that's just here we have this Kursk magnetic anomaly, and here's the whole surface conductivity anomaly over Scandinavia. And this is I might by drew by myself by making this kind of <laughs> Photoshop with a phone. This is the movement. 
This is the movement I talk about, which sucks in the air up to the north. Because there are positive and negatively charged areas. They will influence the weather. But anyway, I'll leave it here. Thanks. Bye.